Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for September 3rd, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at the SP 500. And as you can see, we are up a little bit today. We're still struggling here at the uh, basically all time highs. It has basically been the oil sector that has been doing really well today. Everything else has not been doing really well. Usually it's um, a terrible month for stocks and and it tends to pull back quite aggressively. If you just look what happened last year, this basically happened and it fell off a cliff very suddenly. And uh, it was a drop of roughly 10 to 12 percent. It fell towards the 200 moving average. It didn't hit the 200, but got very close. Uh, here, if we have a pullback, the 20 exponential, uh, 20 exponential should be supported. So it's the 50. And then after that, we have the two, uh, 4,250. And then the 200 moving average down here, roughly 4,000. MACD is still bullish. The uh, Stochastic is still bullish. And the RSI is still bullish. Still, tend, uh, still expect this to pull back towards the 20 or the 50 before it going higher. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones is really struggling here at uh, 20 exponential. It is, um, well, has basically been trading flat for several days now. MACD is still bearish and the stochastic is bearish and the RSI is flat at this point. Breaking below here, the 50 moving average down here at the 35,000. Uh, After that, 34,000 and then the 200 moving average down here at 33,000. That's probably as far as this will go as... Um, this market has been really rallying since the bottom here of the basically the coronavirus. So it has been a massive move. If, and uh, if we look at the NASDAQ, it has even been more impressive than the Dow Jones. Just look at this a ridiculous move from the very bottom of the uh, from 6,600 and all the way up to 15,600 just one year later. It is getting very overextended. If you look at the RSI for the, the NASDAQ, we were at 75 here and we we're approaching the top of the Bollinger Band. And wouldn't be surprised if we saw something similar to this, which we saw in February and also in March, as um, sometimes in September, which usually is a very bad month for stocks. So it has become fairly parabolic. At some point, it will have a major pullback similar to this. Probably when the when the Fed is going to really consider um, or pronouncing when it's going to um, increase interest rates and uh, and the cut back on the quantitative easing that usually um, has a major impact on the markets. But at this current stage, MACD is still bullish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is uh, flat at this point. And a pullback towards the 20 exponential that could be expected if that breaks the 50 moving average down here at 15,000 should be massive support break of that then we could drop down to 14,000 so let's look at the german dax so german dax has uh, tested uh tw top of the bullish band twice and then basically pull back. So this is roughly at 16,000 it is major uh, resistant and uh, we are trading right at the 20 exponential at this current stage. If we drop below the 50 moving average, then 15,500 will most likely come into play. And then the previous bottom here at 15,000, give or take, that should basically be the bottom of this market. If that breaks, then the 200 moving, uh, 200 moving average down here at 14,781. MACD is uh, bearish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. It has basically just been going back and forward, killing time and um, the last three trading days have not been very impressive for the German DAX. So let's look at the UK FTSE. So UK FTSE, very similar. We have just, just been bouncing off the 250 uh, moving average and getting close to the top of the Bollinger Band, uh, trading at 7,147 at this point. MACD is uh, bearish, the stochastic is flat, and the RSI is flat as well. It's not until we basically break above the previous highs here or break below the 50 moving average, I'd basically be interested in basically entering this market whatsoever. So let's look at China 50. So yet again, it is struggling at the 20 exponential. So I got rid of my, my um, 
in Chinese stocks yet again today because they are really showing signs of weakness. They have been rallying the last few trading days up towards major resistance, which is the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average in some cases, and then it just falls apart yet again. So I'm afraid that we will see something similar to this or this or this, or just go and retest the very bottom here at 14,479, give or take. We may see this pullback here. Break above the 20 exponential, then it becomes more interesting because then we'll target the 50 and so on. But still, we'll probably build the bottom here. If we retest this bottom and then we you know, rally yet again, then it looks more promising. MACD is still bullish, the casting is bullish, and the RSI is flat. So, I hope you found this helpful. You want to support your channel by subscribing and hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.